All right, we got Bo Ray from Focused Engagement here with us today. I'm going to be visiting with Bo um, and getting him to tell us a little bit about what Focused Engagement does. We're excited to work with him, and we'll just dive in. Bo, tell us a little bit about about Focused Engagement and about how you guys got started with that. Yeah, uh, so I've uh, I've actually been in business for uh, just over 20 years now. I started in 2002. Uh, always been in a tech field of some sort. Uh, I'm older than I look. I'm, I actually turned 50 this year. So, um, oh, you must... but uh, it's health, it's clean living. <laughs> oh, okay. That's, I was like, you look like you have pretty low mileage for 50, man. Uh, uh, yeah, I've always been in the, in the tech field. Tech's always interested me. And what's really interested me is uh, working with local businesses. So uh, I, I started out with uh, uh uh, like networking computers and servers and everything. And I'd go into these small businesses and I would talk to them about what they do and how they promote themselves. And just uh, really, I, I, I feel like I got a master's education in, in uh, business and marketing through uh, those years of working with all these small clients. I've worked with just about any kind of every, every industry you could think of. Well, in 2016, I had the opportunity to pivot fully into marketing I had a client that, uh, you know, I was working on his servers and that, and he was struggling with some marketing uh, material. And, you know, it's, I've always done it for myself. So I said, yeah, let, let's do it. It was a, it was a mattress store and I loved it, man. I loved it. It, it, it really changed my entire outlook on business and, and what I could do because now I'm helping these businesses grow in a way that I never could before. When you're in IT, you're looked at as a necessary evil. Oh, this guy, I got to pay him to fix my computer. When you're in marketing, they're like, yes, I am so excited to pay you because you're making me so much money. Right. So I, I started that in 2016. And what I realized is it didn't matter. I started growing that and getting lots of clients on. But it didn't matter how many leads I brought somebody. They didn't know how to properly engage with them. Okay. Uh, oftentimes, what I would see is they would get this lead asking through a text or something and asking, you know, hey, do you got any specials? And and the answer would be, yeah, uh, why don't you just come on in and you can see what we got. Well, if they wanted to come in, they would have come in, right? right? They wanted to talk over tech. And so I realized these guys need to learn how to engage properly. So I thought, you know what, focus engagement is a pretty cool name. We're really going to teach them how to focus their engagement on the, on the method that their lead wants to engage with. So we created focused engagement. We did that around 2016 and been doing it ever since. So you guys work with uh, high level or some people call it go high level. How did, how did that get involved in what you're doing? Yeah, I, I got to tell you, high level is so fantastic. We, we went through a, a several different CRMs. We, we started out with HubSpot, which I uh, don't know if you're familiar with them. They're huge yeah, they're uh, and, and they're great. They've got a great platform, but they, they specialize in enterprise, you know, big businesses and their price was just, uh, too outrageous for the kind of clients I like to work with. Um, I, I really am a, a champion of the little guy. You know, I like okay. to work with uh, smaller businesses up to, you know, 100 uh, employees. Okay. So high level is just too expensive. So I went to this one called SharpSpring and SharpSpring was good too, but all of these CRMs, they, they all had Wait, the, the second boat. You said high level was too expensive. Oh, you meant uh, HubSpot. My apologies. HubSpot was too expensive. Okay. So I went from HubSpot to SharpSpring. Okay. And SharpSpring, I got my price down, but the problem is, is SharpSpring, they wanted to be Hub, HubSpot. You know, HubSpot was the, the big, big man on the block. Sure. And, uh, and the problem with all of these, HubSpot, SharpSpring, several others is you don't have a lot of control. It's here, here's our platform and you're going to do things our way or, or it's not going to work. They, they didn't really give you the opportunity to do what you wanted to do. Okay. So... About three years ago, somebody introduced me to high level. And my first thought was, oh, all right, here we go again. I got to learn a new platform and it's not going to be any better. Well, I started my trial with them and I fell in love right off the bat. I mean, everything they had, everything I always wanted to do for my clients anyway, but couldn't because these other platforms didn't, uh -huh. high level had. Not only that, but their API was so fantastic that if they didn't do something, you could create something on your own and build it into it. So it was like a match made in heaven. It it really changed the, the trajectory of my uh, my business and really what I could do for my clients. Okay, that's awesome. So now you guys looks like you're doing some stuff with real estate and high yeah. level. How did how did tell tell us a little bit about why you like high level for real estate? So uh, high level, their their real key feature in high level is their ability to nurture 
leads. And like I said, with my name, Focused Engagement, my, my attitude was always if, if a lead engages with you in a platform, uh, you should really engage back in that platform. So if they text you, you should respond by text. If they call you, you talk to them. Facebook message, you message them, right? right. Uh, the beauty of high level is it integrates them all. You integrate your, your Facebook Messenger, you, your uh, Google My Business message, uh, text, phone call, email. It doesn't matter. It's all in one platform. So you uh, all in in one place? Is that what yes. You're yep. And wow. they have the ability to create these nurturing campaigns, these automated nurturing campaigns that I really found work great for realtors because it allows a realtor to keep in constant contact with their, with their clients, with their leads, without having to spend a lot of time doing it. You know, they're not having to say, oh, shoot, I got to email this person or I got to put this person in this strip campaign and I got to text this person and, you know, oh, I got to Facebook message this person and they're jumping all over the place. They, it's just all in one platform, easy to communicate with your leads and your co- uh, clients. And a lot of it can be automated through the workflows that high level has. So it really makes a realtor's job easy and, and may, allows them to focus more on uh, their clients and nurturing that relationship with their clients and helping their clients find the house that they want. So are you saying that some of it, they, they use, they log into high level and they answer some of those questions and do some of that stuff. And then some of it's automated or is it yep. all, is nope, it all get, automated? It, it's, it's, it's however the realtor wants to do it. That's the beauty of high level is they give complete control to you as an agency to set it up for your clients, you know, the real estate clients, however you want. So if the realtor says, Hey, I want, when a lead comes in, I want it to automatically text them. And I want, this is what I want it to say. And I want to have it send a voice drop. So it's like, I'm doing a voicemail, you know, uh, you know, Hey, sorry, I missed you. This is Joe at Joe's Realty. It could do a voice drop. It could send an email and then it could say, you know what? The next steps are manual. We want that realtor to call. So let's notify the realtor that they have to call this person now. And and so it, and it's any mix, you know, if that realtor wants everything manual and doesn't want to actually talk to somebody until they get to a certain phase, you could do that. Okay. So So you guys customize that based on what they, yeah. So, so now this is, you know, I I work here at Realty Candy. Tell, tell me, I mean, you and I spoke the first time we were talking about this Peter guy that that we, he's a a client that we both work with. How how has working with with us and our stuff been helpful to you? It sounds like you have the whole thing all dialed in without us, man. No, not at all. You guys were a missing link. Here's the thing: we made our integration between IDX Broker and 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 High Level, right? So we can those leads come in. Uh, our 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 platform makes it look like it makes High Level look like an actual real estate CRM, right? It's okay. it's all integrated right into there. So the leads come in, we can nurture them and everything. Uh, what we found is, especially work with marketing agencies, we get this all set up and they said, hey, uh, how do you, how do you, uh, you know, make this uh, search widget look this way? We're like, Ugh, I don't know. We'll, we, we can obviously find out we're developers, so, but we'd have to dive in and look at it. And we were, but it was a pain. It took a lot of our time and it's not what we really wanted to do. That's not was our specialty. So uh, when, when Peter, Peter wanted to do something so unique. We we said, look, I don't even know if it's possible to do that in IDX Broker. So he said, oh, okay. Well, about about a month later, he said, hey, I found a company that can do it, but they need to work with you to make sure it's going to work with everything else. So that's when you and I started talking. I didn't I didn't know you existed. And when I started realizing what you could do, uh, it I tell you, it, it it you were the second greatest thing other than high level itself. That happened to our business. So oh, I thought you tools, were going to compare me to your wife for a second. Uh, oh no, no, no! She's going to watch this. I would never do that. No, <laughs> I, I, I like sleeping in my bed. Okay. No, but uh, no, you, you, you are the missing link, right? Now we're developers, and everything right. you do, we could probably figure out. Sure. But why? Why would we? Well, you, know, you guys are really good at what you're doing. It takes time away from what you're doing on high level to go figure this out. Yes, right? exactly. So, and and there's just no reason to do that when you do such a fantastic job. And I have yet, I've seen, I send my clients to you. And I don't know, I was actually, you know, looked the, before this to see how many I've sent to you. I didn't get a chance, but every one of them says, hey, thank you for getting me with James. Oh, they're fantastic. So. Hey, I could listen to you talk about us all day, Bo, <laughs> but but you mentioned something about marketing agencies there and what you were saying. So so 
if if I have a marketing agency, how does how does using your high level real estate integration help me? I mean, what is it, what's it, what, that? It it allows okay. So with an IDX broker website, mm-hmm. you know, and you so you got a marketing agency, they got the website, they got IDX, IDX broker, they're getting leads, right? Question okay. is always, once you get those leads, what do you do with them? Now there's lots of CRMs, there's lots of things that you, you could do, but uh, when those leads come in through high level and that creates that nurturing uh, automatically, you know, uh, what it does is it makes that marketing agent look like an absolute rock star to their realtors because all of this stuff is happening magically automatically, right? And it's in complete control of the realtor and the marketing agency, you know, working together uh, to, to make this happen. And the beauty of it is, is it's so easy in high level, you can create what we call a snapshot. Okay. So you say, you know, here's my workflows for a buyer, you know, step one, step two, step three, conditional logic here, whatever is really cool. You can get really, uh, some really nice automatic workflows. And then when you sign up a new realtor, just push it out to them. There's no, you know, once it's pushed out to them, sure. You can have that conversation about, Hey, hit, this is what we have. Do you want to customize it? A lot of marketers don't. They don't allow it to be customized. Okay. If they need to change something, they change it in their snapshot and push it out to all of their clients already. So, but again, the beauty of high level is it's a, it allows you to run your business the way you want. If you want to customize everything and you want to charge for that, you can. If you want to make everything, uh, uh, you know, one size fits all and push it out and not charge as much, so you're, you know, you can. It, it's up to you how you want to run your agency. It just makes it, it gives you so many advantages, uh, you know, to help your client, but uh, to make your job easier too. Well, let me ask you a question. So say, say my sister-in-law is starting a marketing agency and she wants to get hooked up with the focused engagement, uh, real estate integration. How, how does, how does she do that? What, what, what's involved so in that? Send you a link. You can put it in this and you can, you okay. can let you can let your people know what what we have going is high level always has a 14 day trial. Okay? okay, so you could try it and decide whether you want to use it for, you know, for your agency before you buy uh, the link I'm going to give you will actually uh, send that information to me uh, for your for your agencies. If you got any agencies that are interested in this, we're going to give them our integration, which we normally charge anywhere from ninety nine dollars a month to five hundred a month, depending on what they're getting. Uh, but we're going to give it to them for free for uh, for uh, five sub accounts, right? Okay. So, so in other words, they could build this and not have to pay a whole lot of money to do it. So they could test it to see if they even want to do it, right? Sure. So um, they sign up for a high level. We will walk them through setting it up, get it ready for them. We're actually doing that with another client right now, uh, making sure that they have everything they need so that they can start signing up new clients tomorrow. And really, really succeeding. I've yet to know a, a marketing agency that ties in with high level and uses it properly. That's always the key because, you know, sure. uh, that has not doubled or tripled their, their revenue. Wow. That's crazy. So, well, hey, let me think of it this if- way. A lot of these clients, a lot of these realtors probably use KV Core, Chime, or Boomtown, even with your services, right? Even if they're, they built the website, they're doing the marketing, they still have these CRMs. They can get rid of those. And start paying the marketing agency. Marketing agency becomes KV Core, Chime, Boomtown, right? Everything that these companies could do, the marketing agency could do with high level and my my integration and your services. Between between those three things, there's not a single thing that one of these other larger multi-million or billion dollar um, CRMs, real estate CRMs, anything they do, we could do and oftentimes better. Okay, that's awesome. So let me let me ask you this: what are what are you guys working on? What's the future look like? So I, we don't want you to give away all your secret sauce or anything here, but like, what are you guys doing? In this year, year is so? going to be amazing. Uh, so one of the things that we realize working with so many marketing agencies and then their realtors is one of the hard things for a realtor to do. They they so the average person lives in a home for seven years and then they. You know, they move on. So uh, if that realtor, unless they're friends of the family or something, if that realtor doesn't have a good way to stay in touch with that client, then in seven years, that client's not going to remember their name, right? And they're just going to find another realtor. So what we're doing is we're building, it's actually going to be a marketplace. It's going to allow the marketer to sell more services, make more money, but make that that realtor even 
happier. So what will happen is uh, once a month, uh, every even a, every couple of weeks, the realtor can send out a text or an email or both to, and all this is automated. It's just set up, set it and forget it, to their client saying, hey, you know, uh, maybe it's uh, it falls coming. It's time to winterize your sprinklers. Here's a video from a local sprinkler repair place uh, on how to do it. And we get with that repair place and Adam Door Marketplace. Uh, here's a video on how to do it on your own. If you want them to do it, you can sign up for their, you know, that, you know, schedule a, a time now and get 10% off, right? Yeah. So from the realtor standpoint, they're sending all this great, valuable information that their client wants. It's not some email about seven ways to, uh, you know, uh, clean your carpet, you know, whatever. It's it's good, valuable information that comes at a timely uh, point for for the client. And honestly, now that marketing agency has a list of all these home services, plumbers, HVACs, you know, all this stuff that they can uh, uh, market to as well. Say, hey, look, we're going to add you into our marketplace and we're going to get you free clients, you know, or relatively free. You're going to get this client and you're going to, you know, it's going to be a 5% fee or whatever you want to charge. So, uh, so it's just really going to become a win-win for the realtor, for the client, for the marketer and for the, uh, um, local service businesses in their area, frankly. So well, it that, sounds like that would be a good thing. I, I used to be a realtor a long time ago. And if I had that relationship with a bunch of businesses in my community, then I kind of become top of mind for them too. When yes, to exactly. Somebody, right. Yeah. Well, and that's the beauty is that you send this text and you can say, Oh, by the way, do you know anybody that, you know, yeah. is moving or wants to buy a house or sell their home, you know, refer me. Yeah. Uh, awesome. So it, it's an easy way to keep that conversation going very naturally, as opposed to forcing it through some, blog post or something, you know, or a newsletter that nobody reads anyway. Okay, that's cool. Well, let me ask you a, another thing. Is, you've been doing this marketing for, for some time now. If I were a realtor or I, I run a real estate kind of based marketing agency, what, what kind of a little nugget, a little golden nugget could you share with me? Something about marketing that I may not be doing or you know about? So, well, what, what I would recommend as for a realtor okay. is we all are good at what we do, right? If you're not a marketing specialist to try to do it on your own, you're going to waste more time and money doing it on your own than if you hire somebody. So I will give one good piece that every business, rather you're realtor or not, should do is completely and fully optimize your Google My Business listing. Okay. okay. That is critical because no matter, and get reviews in it. That's part of optimizing it because no matter what, if you get a referral, almost certainly that, that referral is going to check on you a little bit, right? Where are they going to start? They're going to start with Google. They're going to look at your reviews. They're going to see how you interact with your clients, okay? So, and you can do that easily on your own. But beyond that, find somebody that you trust and don't look at bottom line price, okay? Look for the value that that person is bringing you. They may cost you a little bit more than another service, but if they're bringing you the value which it, for realtors case is obviously getting more, not leads. Leads are easy to get, right? I can, I can bring on a realtor tomorrow and get them uh, 200 leads by the end of the week, right? Mm -hmm. But closing those leads and having those leads turn into clients is the trick, right? So work with somebody that knows what they're doing in that area that has that, uh, you know, so all of your marketing agencies that work with you, they probably have a good track record. So realtors, I would recommend find one of those marketing agencies Find one that works well with your values and the way you want to uh, run your realty business and create that relationship and work with them. You're going to be money ahead paying somebody to do it right than trying to figure it out on your own. Well, there's some truth to that. That's kind of like why I don't do uh, auto mechanics on my own vehicle, <laughs> yeah. right? It, honestly, it's why I partnered with you to do the, the, uh, uh, the IDX side. You know, you were already, we shared a lot of the same core values. Yeah. Talking with you, I could tell that, you know, we just really meshed together yeah. and uh, and you took care of something I could do on my own, but I would waste time and money doing it on my own, trying to figure it out. So yeah. well, it's no difference, you know, work with somebody that you trust and, and work well with.